This sequence explains the method used to expand, pressurize, and retract all of Ground Force's double-acting hydraulically operated shoring equipment using the motorized shoring pump. The pump is powered by a small petrol engine and should always be used in a well-ventilated area and never in a confined space. Before starting the pump, you must first perform the following actions. First, check the petrol and shoring fluid levels and top up as required. Note that the pump incorporates a float switch, which will stop the engine if the reservoir becomes too low. Next, check the engine oil level. Slowly extend the starting cord and examine it for fraying. And finally, inspect the pump unit and engine for any physical damage. Providing all inspections are successful, you're now clear to start the pump. First, ensure that the flow direction valve is in the vertical neutral position. Rotate the ignition switch to the on position. Slide the fuel supply lever to the on position. Slide the choke lever to the closed position. Set the throttle lever to approximately mid position. Briskly pull the start cord to start the engine. As soon as the engine starts, back off the choke lever until the engine runs smoothly. After about 30 seconds, the choke should be retracted fully. Connect one end of each of the hoses to both the inlet and outlet ports on the hydraulic ram and open the lock-off valve. It is essential that both hoses are attached correctly. Fully open the engine throttle and move the flow direction valve to the ram out position to expand the ram unit. If the ram fails to expand, first check all the hose connections. If it's still unsuccessful, return the flow direction valve back to neutral and swap the hose connections over on the pump and try again. The equipment should be expanded as per the individual user guide. Once the equipment has been fully expanded, the lock-off valve on the equipment is closed and the flow direction valve is returned to neutral position. The hoses are now depressurized and can be removed from the pump and hydraulic ram. This process can then be repeated for any further rams as required. If the pump is not going to be used again immediately, it should be switched off by returning the throttle to mid position and the ignition switch rotated to the off position. To retract the ram, make sure the flow direction valve is in neutral, restart the pump and reattach the hoses to both the inlet and outlet ports on the pump and hydraulic ram. Slowly rotate lock-off valve to allow fluid back into pump. Fully open the engine throttle and move the flow direction valve to the ram in position to retract the ram. Once the rams are fully retracted, the valve can be reset to neutral and the hoses depressurized and removed from the pump and hydraulic ram. This process can then be repeated for any further rams as required. At the end of the day's work, the fuel lever should be moved to the off position. The ignition switch rotated to the off position and any hoses should be coiled up and kept off the ground to prevent excessive dirt contamination. This video is to be viewed in conjunction with a detailed written user guide, which is available to download from our technical library found on our website.